For centuries, war has been the mother of invention. From the prehistoric spears of warring tribes to the atomic bomb that ended World War II, the Second World War also gave us this, a fascinating and largely forgotten engineering marvel, the Great Panjandrum. So what exactly was the Panjandrum? In short, a twin-wheeled, gigantic, rocket-propelled monstrosity developed by the British to get past the German defenses on the beaches of Normandy for the D-Day invasion. The Great Panjandrum, with its 10-foot-high wheels and explosive payload, was engineered to get past landmines, miles of barbed wire, steel obstacles, and eventually reach a 10-foot-high, 7-foot-thick concrete seawall and blow a hole right through it. There was only one problem with their design. It never worked. Every single time they tested it, what they hoped would be a straight-ahead beach buster, instead became an unpredictable whirling dervish of mayhem. Run, dog, run! Did I mention that it was also packed with explosives? And the great panjandrum was abandoned and kicked to the curb. But here's the thing, the simplicity of its design and execution, big wheels to get over big obstacles, is actually kind of brilliant. And I feel like the designers of the Panjandra might have been a lot closer to success than we think. So unmitigated failure or underrealized brilliance? That is what I have come to find out. And who better to help me investigate this than a bunch of enthusiasts at the Aeropack Rocketry Club. Nice, nice straight up. This is not a bad hobby you have. No, it isn't, it's ha a lovely hobby. When solid rocket fuel ignites, slight variances in manufacturing and the chaotic nature of combustion itself can often cause rocket motors of the same specs to behave slightly differently. Meaning, getting multiple rockets to perform identically at the exact same time is no trivial matter. William and his Aeropack team are the perfect colleagues to help me figure out the Panjandrum's rocket propulsion system and start testing with the real thing. And this is our Panjandrum. Well, actually, a smaller one-tenth scale prototype we like to call our Junior Jandrum. All right. Let's start uh, attaching some rockets. For our first test, we're going to attach 10 rockets, five on each side. That should give us equal balanced propulsion. The critical factor here is simultaneous ignition of all the rocket motors. Now we wire. Attention to detail is critical as we wire every connection precisely and hope that each of these igniters goes off at the same time. I am curious to see if all 10 rockets fire simultaneously, and if they do, Will it track straight? That's the behavior I'm gonna be looking at for this test. The test course for our Junior Jandrum trial run, just like the beaches at Normandy, we have our strip of sand, obstacles of barbed wire, steel spikes called Czech hedgehogs, and finally, the impregnable seawall, in this case, made out of cardboard boxes, and of course, tiny heroic soldiers. That looks beautiful. It does. All these leads are hooked up to our battery that will fire up our rocket motors and send our mini panjandrum on its way. We hope. We are hot, you ready to go? We're ready to go. All right. Here's hoping for 10 rockets all at once. And three, two, one. Oh, it smells like the 4th of July. It does, all that black powder. Oh, look at it, it's burned a track. Yeah, it's all sticky. Yeah, we literally were burning rubber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that test yielded some genuine information. Looking at the high-speed camera footage, we can clearly see that we didn't quite achieve our goal of simultaneous ignition. That rocket right there, lagged behind by a fraction of a second, causing our junior Jandrum to veer to the right. 
Also, it seems that the nearly 75 pounds of combined thrust produced by our 10 rocket motors was a bit too much power for our seven pound panjandrum. I'm kind of inclined to try it at like 60%, like three rockets on each side. We're going to take it down a notch and try to dial in this thrust to weight ratio. And it's doing a pirouette. Let's see if it sticks to the landing. Oh, the <laughs> Russian judge is going to give it a big score for that. Well done, everybody. Well, at least we replicated one thing from World War II, a magnificent failure. Looking at the high-speed camera shows how close we came to simultaneous ignition. But our rocket placements between the right and left side were out of alignment, causing our junior jandrum to spin way out of control. It's time for one more test, and to minimize the risk of failure, I'd like to try two rockets, just one on either side. And let's do two that are directly, directly in line opposite. with each other, so the push is exactly the same. Arm, we are hot. Mini Benjandrum going live in three, two, one. Yeah. There you go. All right. It even stayed in the sand for a while. It's there we go. <laughs> well, at least it didn't spin out of control. Those two rockets sent our junior Chandrum on a relatively stable, albeit curved, run, proving to me that with some proper tweaks, there might just be merit in this Panjandrum madness. What's your intuition? Do you think this will work full scale? I think if we got the mass and the propulsion dynamics correct, then I think it probably would. That is also my opinion. Yeah. Awesome, to full scale we go. Yep. The small scale test has shown us two key things to be on the lookout for when testing our full sized World War II Panjandrum. Simultaneous ignition and balanced propulsion. We also need to dial in our thrust to weight ratio because our next build is going to be 10 times bigger and that much more dangerous if it goes spinning out of control. Uh, once we got the power to weight ratio balance with just one rocket on each side, we got a stable moving forward and that is super, super encouraging. But the second thing I learned from today is I don't think there's anything further we can learn unless we go bigger. We have to go to a full-size panjandrum, 10 feet tall, 32 rockets, just like they did in World War II. Yeah, right through the seawall it's gonna go. Da -da 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 -da! Bam! Ha -ha!